Hi, this is Weekly Reflections, and I'm Nancy Joy. Um, I got the greatest message on a greeting card this past week. Um, that You know, every now and again, one jest is so profound. And uh, let me tell you who this was written by. It was written by Dean Alfang. Um, and I changed the last line of his uh, to a more universal last line. But you know how every now and again you run into something that can become your creed, your motto, and in fact he calls it my creed. And um, I think it's about our freedom, owning ourselves, being who we are, and making that the most important thing in our lives. And so um, for you YouTubers, I'm going to read it. It's written below if you get my email or below on YouTube. Um, but you know, what I've done since I got it is I've taken a line at one line at a time and embraced it in my being. And I have it now, the card hanging up, so that I can remember uh, your creed, your motto. And you know, a season, a reason, a lifetime. This hit me right now for with the shift, what's going on in all our lives, everything changing, uncertainty, the pressures of, of having our freedoms taken away the responsibility of embracing that and how and so beyond the duality of the silly um, election going on in our country. And I, I'm sorry if I offend anyone by saying that, but um, it, it, it's about integration. That's not about finger pointing. And this is where we're going in our hearts. And so um, this is what it says line by line. I do not choose to be common. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. That's a tough one. It's easy to say, but it's a tough one to really embrace and believe. We all need some work on that one, but it will set us free. I want to take the calculated risk. I love I want to take the calculated risk. Invite risk to become your playmate. Risk and change. Invite them into your life. Uh, they shake things up. They change things. They create things. So I love that line. Uh, I want to take the calculated risk. Then it goes on to say, to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. And, and that's the rhythm. That's the rhythm. Because with everything we dream and how it turns out and how we build it and with every failure, the lessons learned, this is the process the, the, the progress you make with creation. I refuse to barter incentive for a dole. In other words, is your incentive money or are you living your passion? Um, I prefer the challenge of life to the guarantee of existence. And, you know, there you have it. You know, in so many places we rely on things other than ourselves and we are learning and we are stepping into that power now, and it's changing everything, isn't it? Um, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. You know, that's the old thing. You, you can be in bliss only for so long, <laughs> and then you seek the challenge of expansion and growth, which comes through risking and believing and stepping into um, things that maybe are not feeling so safe and secure, but it is the pathway. I prefer the challenge of life to the guarantee of existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will not trade freedom for beneficence. No, for benefits. I won't trade my freedom for any benefits outside of myself, nor my dignity for a handout. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It is my heritage to stand erect, proud, and unafraid. By heritage, this heritage I, trans, I translate that it's humanity. It's humanity, all across the board, humanity's heritage to stand erect, proud, and unafraid. And act for myself. Enjoy the benefit of my creations and to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. And what it means, this is what it means to be a conscious human on planet Earth. So I love it. I love this creed. Now his last line is, this is what it means to be an American. 
Um, but again, I see that as a limitation. I love being an American. I truly do love being an American. Um, but I want to be a member of the world and everyone in the world. America has stood for these, this independence and freedom. It was created and based on this independence and freedom. And it's, it's been eroded and erupted and it's, uh, it's not, it's not in a good place right now. So by taking ourselves back and living a life uncommon that doesn't fit into the structures that no longer serve us, uh, we do change the planet. And most of all, we change ourselves. So uh, that's my message, short and sweet this week. Have a great week. I've posted two great new trips. We're going to do a UK crop circle journey this August with John and Meredith Flanagan in the UK. Um, check it out. It's going to be awesome. Check it out on my website. It's going to fill up fast. <laughs> I think it's going to be really exciting. And then we're going back to the Bimini Dolphins at the end of April, beginning of May of 2013. So if you've seen the videos and, and been inclined to want to do that, get in touch with me because we'll figure out a, a plan, a payment plan on any of these trips. And I'm for making them possible, and, they're, and, it, and they are possible. So if you have an inkling and are interested, let's talk. Let's figure out how we can create together, right? Have a great week. I'll be back with you next week.